And then maybe you put that. It's open. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Here, this hut is on the map. Let us search it from top to bottom. It's a bit of a weird, it's a bit of a weird lock oh, that a jumble. you have to, you can only open it by pushing something in, like a surgical instrument or something. An axe. <laughs> I will need this later for fending off the rabble when darkness comes. Note to all employees, fell the lover's tree to make place for another grave. If the famine doesn't end, we can expect a lot of customers. Chief P. Long. How is it that is there that is no room in this cemetery? Does that imply he has a rather large, um, <coughs> uh, preconceptions? What's this? Hello? Impossible to open it. Look, this chest has been nailed to the floor. This box has been placed well, so that no one can move or open it. Well, can't you just break it open with an axe? Bags uh -huh. with names. I'm a and genius at the these games. Well, really. Well, really. I can see a large crack. <laughs> I need something thin. Oh, that's not the first time I've said that. A hole was drilled a short while ago. All that from There's that. a sack inside this hole. <laughs> Let's see what is inside. It, it just keeps getting worse and worse. Note from the cemetery bandits. Oh my god, there are bandits now. I want to do what you told me to do. I wanted to, it didn't all fit in, so I've closed the chest and have hidden the rest with Romeo and Juliet, the two newcomers. Oh. We are making headway. How do we know what this means? This message confirms that we are on the right track. Well, I don't know what the hell this Valuable is. Objects, but what are they oh, doing? I see what they're doing. Grave robbers. Naughty, naughty people. Valuable. Oh. Bags filled with names. Shut up. Right, so... Now then, I will try and use my detectiving skills. What was the name of those two people? Sally Petticurt or whatever, and John Hamilton. That's Romeo and Juliet. That's the one they were talking about. So we've got to find where they are. Now that's the question, isn't it? Where are those two graves? Maybe I've got to look for two that are adjacent with adjacent head headstones, something like that. Uh, see, I, I I think I'm being clever and doing detectiving, and then I run into brick walls. Right, quick check with the walkthrough. Right, I see. We have to find the um, aforementioned lover's tree. It's that one because it's got the big thing on it. Here is our tree. Let us examine the inscriptions. I heart you. Did they even do that back then? Sally and Oh, John. those poor guys. I do genuinely feel sorry for these people. Done. Sally and John is engraved here as a symbol of their love. And also that weird sign, so we have to look that's what the water is, is we have to look for a grave with that sign on it. Nothing of interest here. <laughs> I don't care about this person's grave. This person could have lived and died and I didn't give a shit. Nothing of interest here. Well they did live and die and I don't give a shit. So haha. -ha. Nothing of interest here. Hmm. Nothing of interest here. Nothing of interest for any anything for you, is it? You just don't take interest in the world anymore, Holmes. That's it. That's the one. Yes. 
It must be there. Well, are they buried on top of each other or something? I need something. Shovel, shovel. Need to get a shovel. Oh, oh god, are we were we actually exhuming people now? Have we sunk to this level, Holmes? This shovel belongs to the cemetery workers. You frighten me, Holmes. And not only, uh, not just when you pull out the uh, the giant willy shaped, the giant willy thing you attach to your forehead. I'm I'm just spouting random gibberish now. Though when am I not spouting random gibberish? This must be the grave. Dig quick, Watson. <laughs> Why Very do I well, have to Holmes. fucking do it? Oh, he he, he acquiesced to that quite box. simple. Yes, just dig up this grave what in plain sight. Next, Holmes? Oh, for God's sake! Pick up the box. The Step lock two. on this box is rather sophisticated. This box comes from a bank. The criminals must okay. have held onto it after a holdup. Right. Are we supposed to fix it? Are we supposed to figure this out now, or wait a minute? Oh, hold on. I was born a landbound farm boy, and in New England raised. Rippling of the wheat fields where they were my ocean waves. Each crying call, each rise and fall of crows across the corn. The seagulls swooping across the bow of the ship I dreamed I'd sail when Brown came home. My deck was the dusty farmyard, my mass was the telegraph pole. The wind blown choir and the telephone wire was the chord heard in my soul. And it seemed to have been singing since the day that I was born. You're gonna take a trip on a sailing ship all the way. Eureka! I like the fact it's given me the there option to skip it. It is simplicity itself. It knows me all too well. It's it's not helping the fact that this was the first one designed for consoles and it's the first one that I know that you can skip the puzzles. It's not painting us in a very good light, is it? Oh Jesus. A hammer covered in blood. That's not a good sign. This key must be important to be hidden here. It's the key to my chastity belt, and what the bloody hell are those two things? What the fuck? Holmes, there is someone in that hut. I saw Watson. Come and keep your revolver at the ready, just in case. That was creepy. <laughs> I will now defuse the situation with my girly run. Open up. We are not the police. Do not be alarmed. That's <laughs> a strange <laughs> way to it. I was alarmed. <laughs> oh, that's a I will reassure you by pointing a gun at you. It looks like a teeny tiny little gun. They are children. My God, one of them is hurt. What do you want? Don't come any He's coming for me. <laughs> Don't be afraid. No, I'm I just told you. I'm going to look at your friend's wound. Wait, Watson. <laughs> I've got some questions. To I'm ask a priest. I mean, doctor. This is urgent, Holmes. In this filthy place, the risk of infection is very high. And the wound could get oh worse no, with every second some lost. random child the could die. For these I feel so invested so in this. As Mr. Fletcher. Who? Look at the wound, Watson. It's thin and precise. It was made by a sharp, well-kept blade. Any other blade, less well-kept, would have torn the tissue around it, and its size would be irregular. I should know. So I was slicing him up last night. Area, who would take such great care with a blade? A butcher, of course. And the oh, only Jesus. butcher in the area is Samuel Fletcher, who at this moment is replacing a window that has been forced open. He's a man to hold grudges. How do you, know, how do you know, know these things? Tell you. The children are in danger. Just, just, man is just skillful with a knife plucking it out of thin air. A bad reputation to match. Could easily strike a fatal blow by cutting the child's jugular. If he has or throw him off a it's bridge. It's surely because these little thieves broke into his shop at night to steal a piece of meat. The poor lighting in this area saved them. I can assure you that Mr. Fletcher has spent the day trying to trace these children, and if he finds them, wounds will be the least of their problems. That's so what we're that's saying true. is that poor lighting Butcher is very Don't good. Get the find us. Hmm. 
be afraid. Justice be very is afraid. Harsh, young man. If the police hear about this breaking and entering, they will see Mr. Fletcher's side of the story. No. You were quite right don't to take a carving knife Please, to children. Mr. We don't want to end up in prison. I'm looking for a certain Kurtz. <laughs> Extorting I, from children. I'll tell you, Mister. In that case, I oh, must take Sherlock the side Holmes. of justice. You and your brother are thieves. All right, all right. Don't call the police. Kurtz is a dangerous madman. He's called the Colonel round here. Colonel I heard he was Kurtz. In the oh my in God. Africa. He lives in Batty Street next to the wine this shop. Is just, this Maybe is just becoming blatant. Be Good. Watson, see to the wound. Never mind about the police. You don't have to put on the red light. He sings as never mind that. Uh, no, it's terrible. Lives in Battish Street next door to a wine merchant. We must protect these children from that butcher Holmes. It won't be necessary. From that butcher I've had Holmes. With Samuel Fletcher before now, he is not the monster I've made him out to be. If he had wanted to kill them, he would have done so, even in dim light, by wounding the little thief. He wanted to warn him never to set foot in his shop again. Forget Mr. Fletcher, Watson. He's just a child maimer, you, Watson. You mean you lied to frighten those poor children? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Clever, wasn't it? Oh, Holmes, you're a wonderful bastard. Oh, dearie me. He gets what he wants and he gets to frighten the shit out of children. Holmes, you are my hero. Well, mister, that's a mighty fine oh, hello. outfit you're wearing there. Oh, God, it's you her again. like a sore thumb, and that's no lie. Watch that you don't get it all dirty. up. But you'd be welcome to come back whoa, to my place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'd thar sponge she it blows. down for you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't go back to Jenny's place. <laughs> You'll get Malay. What the fuck was that? Who's talking? Thank you, um, madam. No. I'm certain what? that you would make a very good job of it. Uh, that will not be necessary, however. Uh, but your thought was a kind one. Please don't, please don't go well, anywhere near my penis. Now, Here, please accept this sovereign as a token of my gratitude for your concern. Well, I never. Thank you. That's right, generous of you, my uh, lordship. You are very Lord welcome. Lord Bennett, she looks like a ship. Madam, he calls me. Bless my garters. What a gent. <laughs> I think your garters will need if to be blessed to survive yes. what's going to happen to them. What a remarkable man, the Prince Woodville, to talk to such a woman as though she was an equal. Yes, but she's clearly not. She's That's both fine. a woman and that poor. Sherlock Holmes doesn't give a fuck. Right, okay. I'm guessing Batty Street is in Whitechapel. Um, Whitechapel Street. What's down here? Is this Whitechapel Street or is this... No, hang on. Burner Street. I should be trying to remember all the street names from last time. I wonder if Galston Street is here with the infamous graffiti. Well, of course we wouldn't be there. This is the thing. Oh, this is um. This is just me now rambling to fill up the time. Although when did I never? When did I stop doing that before? But anyway, um, Sherlock Holmes versus Jack the Ripper. What's this? Bucks Row. Oh, Bucks Row. I remember Bucks Row. Um, yeah, Sherlock Holmes versus Jack the Ripper inspired me um to do my do the dissertation I plan on doing because um. Uh, of, of the ending of that game, I'm I'm hoping, oh no, I, w I won't spoil it, but basically the ending of that game and the just sort of general, the um, the general setting and things like that made me interested in learning about the sort of racial tensions in London and um, religious, social, economic things, and that's what I'm doing my dissertation on. So yeah, as, as if any of you cared about that. Of course, I haven't started it, even though I had three months of the summer to start it, but you know, you know me, I, why, why start when I can procrastinate and do it in a breakneck pace later on? Now we have to find where the bloody Nothing hell... Nothing of interest here. <laughs> Nothing of interest outside Whitechapel, cool. I mean, <laughs> what, what else is there in London beside the red light district? 
Batty Street isn't in Whitechapel and I've just been running around wasting our time. Well, I'm, I'm sure we'll both be very annoyed. Oi, oi, sir. Oi, sir, why are you running around like that? He actually does look a bit like a chicken. He's like he's doing... With his arms out like that. He should be flapping them, Holmes. Flap them. Flap like the, like the um like the vaginal lips of old Bessie over there. <laughs> 